Good morning. Welcome to Caddix TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, August 7, 2013. There was a huge fire at Nairobi's International Airport in Kenya this morning, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The call sign for that airport is JKIA, which is East Africa's busiest airport, has been shut down. Apart from emergency landings, all flights in and out of the airport have been completely canceled. The fire began at about 5 a.m. According to uh, reports and according to uh, photographs, the entire terminal is completely damaged. It was a massive fire. The event occurred uh, on the 15th anniversary of the bombing of the American Embassy in Nairobi. There's no indication whatsoever that the events are at all connected with that. Apparently, uh, one of the largest firefighting responses in the history of East Africa was required in order to douse the flames. All roads leading into and out of the airport have been shut down. Uh, the airport is a major stopover for uh, European flights such as Swiss Air, Lufthansa, and British Air. It's uh, going to wreck air traffic in uh, East Africa and most of Africa for quite some time. The uh, London-listed reinsurer Lancashire has agreed to purchase the uh, Lloyds Syndicate and Company Cathedral. The price is 266 million pounds in cash, comes to about 420 million U.S. dollars. Uh, Lancashire is going to finance it in part by issuing about 16.8 million new shares, or about 9.9 percent of its company. Lancashire, of course, was founded and is operated by Richard Brindle. Lancashire said that the transaction represents a rare opportunity to acquire a high-quality Lloyd's platform. Aquiline Holdings, the majority owner of ARC Syndicate Management, has reached a provisional agreement to sell ARC to uh, senior executives, including Ian Batten and David Foreman and Nick Boner. The uh, deal will take on, uh, require the taking on of senior bank debt and a hybrid debt instrument and a buyout by the managing agent's equity partners over about three years. It'll be a, an earnout kind of thing as well. Hanover Re, the number three reinsurer in the world, has posted an approved first half underwritings result for 2013, despite the impact of the large losses caused by the European floods. Its total non-life operating profits jumped about 27 percent, up to about 550 million euros. They did pay out about 137 million euros relating to the European floods. It was a 5.1 earthquake that struck southern Greece this morning. It rattled the capital in Athens, shaking the office buildings. No reports of any damage or injuries. The uh, police and fire brigades were not called out. Some information coming in on that Southwest Airlines plane uh, landing at LaGuardia Airport back on July 22nd, in which they came in at too steep a descent and hit with the nose wheel first, pushing the nose wheel up into the uh, electronics compartment. Apparently, just 400 feet before the plane touched down on the runway, the co-pilot handed the controls back to the captain, and that's highly unusual. The National Transportation Safety Board has determined there was nothing wrong with the airplane itself, so they're now looking at the actions of the crew. That's certainly going to be a change they'll be looking at very closely. Tiger Woods, the golfer, had a big win in uh, Bridgestone, uh, the Bridgestone International Golf Tournament on Sunday. Uh, he's dealing with more pedestrian issues. It seems that his waterfront home in Florida on Jupiter Island in Martin County can actually be sinking. He's having a contractor shore up his 10,000 square foot home. According to uh, reports, Woods noticed cracks in walls and doors rubbing into the ground. Uh, this is a sure sign of sinking. A contractor is going to stabilize the structure by inserting giant screws called helical piles as far down as 24 feet into the ground, according to county records. A contractor uh, locally who was not involved in uh, the specific woods renovation said this sort of thing happens quite a bit here in Florida. The soil has layers of organic matter that eventually decompose. Once that happens, many homes start sinking. Of course, one of the endemic problems of home building in Florida are sinkholes. Fortunately, that has not yet happened to Mr. Woods. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.